as the Temple Owls take the field for the first time under new head coach Bruce Arians, there is renewed pride and emotion inside those cherry and white uniforms. Veterans and underclassmen alike catch the new spirit. A dazzling, well-conceived game plan stuns the visitors from Syracuse with an offense that penetrates and a defense that punishes. From his usual spot near the temple bench, University President Peter Leacorus proudly watches the emergence of a new style. Throwing long on a fake punt from its own end zone, or throwing long into the Syracuse end zone, Temple is unpredictable, exciting, and triumphant. The victory is sweet reward for a team and its coach determined to succeed. The victory is assigned to all. The Temple Owls are building a winner. a winner to walk off this campus. A young man that can go into life, walk into any office, apply for a job, stick his chest out, and say, I'm the best person for this job because I have been prepared at the best university. And we've had two real fine days of work. We gotta keep that level of intensity high at all times, start to finish. Let's have a smile on your face and get after it today. That's the best practice we have. The groundwork for success begins here on Temple's own AstroTurf practice field. Young men in cherry and white working closely with experienced position coaches, reinforcing fundamentals, sharpening skills, shaping the solid foundation of a Temple program based on confidence and poise. Right here, we're going to be outside. That's why we work our way up on them and then stay with them. Right? Hold your ground, stay with them. Okay? The chief architect of this rebuilding effort is a young, dynamic head coach who learned much of his football under the legendary Bear Bryant. Bruce Arians grew up in York, Pennsylvania. He is a teacher who can relate to his young men. At that time, actually, he had either one. That's a good throw. Now, you got to get sharp and quick on that release every time. Boom, into the hole, on the break. Not once he comes open, then it's too late. Techniques learned on Wednesday turn into big plays on Saturday. When many of those Saturdays are filled with top 20 opponents like Penn State, Pittsburgh, Georgia, Boston College, and West Virginia, the Owls must produce an explosive offense and a gambling big play defense. Bruce Arians' coach team will throw for first downs and throw for touchdowns. But its heart and soul will be men with fire in their eyes and larceny on their minds. A wrecking crew in red with one purpose, dominate an opponent. more than 50 players have taken their temple training into professional football with names like Joe Klecko of the Jets, Jim Cooper of Dallas, and Steve Watson of Denver currently making headlines. Yes, winning football has been and is important at Temple. But to Bruce Arians, it is more important that success on the field not overshadow success in the classroom. We stress when we recruit the young man that he's coming to the university to earn a degree. 
He's going to play football because he loves to play the game. The football coaches, the staff, they really stress academics to us. You know, you know, study hall after you know practice, things like that. That's another thing that really impressed me because studies comes first and then football, which I think you know, that's the way it should be. Like the lofty bell tower that rises above this tree-lined campus, Temple University stands tall when it comes to a quality education. In pursuit of a bachelor's degree, a student may choose from more than 100 fields of study. The School of Business is nationally renowned, as are the colleges of medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, engineering, and education. Temple is most proud of its School of Communications and Theater, rated number two in the United States. Many athletes, like Sean Roscoe of Somerdale, New Jersey, prepare for careers in TV, journalism, or theater while at Temple. When Temple came to me, recruited me, the first thing you know, that, that people at home told me that um, Temple has a good communications department. But it's in the Philadelphia area, and my major, you know, sports journalism, you know, this is a sports town. So I think it'd be even better. Whether majoring in communications or any one of the many diverse subjects offered at Temple, the athlete's progress is constantly monitored, and he is provided with any help he needs. He'll have a tutorial sheet where if he needs help in a class, then he'll just fill out the class what time he's available for the tutoring, then we'll supply the tutoring for him to help him help himself. Uh, my role with the players is basically to counsel them uh, through their academic career. If a student has a problem or a question about their uh, ac academics, they can come see me, and I provide them with as much guidance as possible. And this is the key in academics. We're not going to do anything for the young man. We're going to help him help himself to become a better student. Paul Palmer came to Temple from Potomac, Maryland to study physical education. His goal, earn a degree while playing big time college football. As a runner, Palmer was named ECAC Rookie of the Year and gained more yards than any freshman in Temple history. As a student, he began progress toward a degree while enjoying the relaxed atmosphere of the Temple campus. I think it's real friendly. I think all the people around here are real friendly. Uh, if you need help, they're always ready to help you and everything. I like it. The people are friendly. They come from different areas of the country, but it seems like everyone here knows each other, enjoys being around each other, and just wants to help each other. People may be Temple's most vital commodity. People from around the world forming a small community preparing for a productive adult life. People who believe in hard work and enjoy lifelong friendships and excellent career opportunities from their years at Temple. I'd like to see you at Temple. On sports weekends, books are temporarily closed. Fun erupts both on and off campus, often in the form of a pep parade spilling onto the streets of Philadelphia. The birthplace of our nation, the country's fourth largest city, Philadelphia, where a Temple student is just moments away from the finest in cultural activities the Franklin Institute, the Art Museum, historical landmarks, Broadway shows, concerts ranging from Bruce Springsteen to Genesis to Kenny Rogers. All the social and educational opportunities available in a modern metropolitan city. I've been to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I've been to Society Hill. I've been to Old Philadelphia. I've seen uh, Benjamin Franklin's uh, Post House. City's right here. There's a lot to do in Philadelphia. And sharing a home and all the media coverage with Temple 
the South Philadelphia Sports Complex, where the Eagles, Phillies, Stars, 76ers, and Flyers make Philadelphia a city of champions. Temple University represents the city of champions by stepping into the national spotlight. A special day when the ideals and goals of Bruce Arians are tested under pressure. A day when he becomes teacher, strategist, and motivator. Put on your show today! Put on your show today! spirit and pride on the temple sideline. Desire and determination are rewarded by an enthusiastic coach not afraid to say, job well done. Attaboy, Tony. Attaboy, youngie. Way to be, way to be there, son. Had a way to hustle, son. That's the way to knock him loose from the ball. He's got, we got to do something. There. Showing the cohesive elements of a team game, the defense is praised while the offense attacks. A decision is made. The sidelines are alive. And 22 blast is touchdown bound. This is Bruce Arians' classroom, and his students' effort and achievement are the direct result of his teaching. Coaching is nothing but teaching, and we have to teach on the spur of the moment because when we fail as a teacher, there's 50,000 people usually watching. If our players flunk their tests, we lose the game. Now, let's get it going. It's just Come starting. On. Come on. It's just starting. Feels good, doesn't it? Come on. It feels good. Let's go. Yes, it feels good to be a winner. The running and passing game blend together smoothly. The difficult catches look easy. The enemy's finesse fools no one. And there are more owls around the quarterback than blockers. Quick starting, fast finishing, team-oriented football. A temple trademark and the foundation for building a winner under Bruce Arians. We have two areas of the game that we think are the most critical. And we stress them every day in practice. And that we start fast and finish strong. We want to have a good first quarter. Then when the clock ticks the last second off the third quarter, our whole team stands and puts up four fingers. Because the fourth quarter is when we're going to win. If we relax now, they'll come back, won't they? That's right. If we go down and get them 120 one more time, it's going to be ours. You understand what I'm saying? we got to contain the quarterback on both legs. you got to be good at back. Well, let's stop him right here. Let's go. The defense reacts. The bootlegging quarterback is contained. A bold temple defense is dominating, carrying the burden of preserving a victory against a home team searching for an upset. The defense answers the challenge, and no one is more appreciative of his young team's emerging success than Bruce Airy.
Following the game in the solitude of a victorious locker room, the team and coaches unite as one and give thanks. Another real good lesson. The game lasts 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Just thank for God we won the football game. That's great. Happy for all of you. You have that good smiling ride home. But we had them where we wanted them. Had them where we wanted them in the fourth quarter. Defense won the football game. Seven boy leads, not enough. Should have been about 30. But it was enough because the defense fought the tails off. Did a great job. Great job. Offensively, got more cohesiveness in that second half. Ran the football well at times. Played the clock too much in the fourth quarter. Should have thrown a little bit more. Let's see if we can't put a couple of these together now. No telling. No telling how good we can be if we ever play for 60 minutes. Let's get dressed and go home. Yes, there is renewed pride and emotion inside those cherry and white uniforms. But never forget, only a small percentage of those who play football in college will ever go on to the professional level. Time away from football is vitally important to a young man's growth, maturity, and education. With the total support of University President Peter Leocoris and Athletic Director Gavin White, the emphasis at Temple is to build winners in the classroom, on campus, in the business world. At Temple, building a winner means not only on the football field, but building a winner for life.